Corner, but a blue corner, MJ Hall from Briar Hill in the West Midlands. Come to this nice lead, top of white in the Mike Action Gormley, live here on VIP TV at Winter Gardens. A tentative start, Mike, by both boxers, Southpaw Hall and Red Gloves. Orthodox. Yeah, we've seen uh, Hall quite a few times, haven't we? He's uh, quite an experienced kid. Journeyman, as I call them, people have different words. Journeyman, uh, obviously, like to go on the road. But yeah, it's a bit of a test for Antonus. Yeah, um, Paul in his 109 fight tonight. Record is 1 3, lost 104. Well, drawn 2, he's only been stopped 6 times. A nice tight guard. Antonus in his 7 professional out tonight, 1 4, drawn 1, lost 1. Yeah, I think Hall was one of them kids, um, you know, he's not, doesn't really offer much, so it's just uh, a good test for these up and coming young fighters, really. He hasn't fought any big names on his record. He actually fought uh, one of the lads from our gym, Lee, Jake James, on Jake's first fight, I think. Obviously, Jake won on points. He's also fought Ben Fields. Ben Fields' debut, uh, obviously Ben Fields, another, he's a, he's a good journeyman, he comes to win, Ben Fields. Oh, he's not moved around much, he's been stood in the same couple of yards for a full uh, duration of the fight so far. You know, it's not his job to make the fight, it's Anthony's job to, you know, come out and make a statement, show us what he's got. Referee to Jamie Kirkpatrick. Yeah, he, can, he knows how to look after himself all, but I mean, regarding what he's got to offer, not much. So I think it's down to Antonis really to try and sort of do a job on him tonight or, or get the fight under his belt, uh, win him well. Certainly, and, and, and we've said before, me and Mike, when it comes to him, we like to see a fight come and show us what he's got. Obviously, Hall's won three fights, eight fights. He's not stopped anyone, so we can't really punch. Nobody, not being disrespectful, so Antonis needs to get in there. Shows what he's got, work head and body, and, and you know, you know put, put a show on for the, for the crowd. Just make himself a bit of a name. Yeah, exactly. He can afford to pick the pace up on Tunis. You know, he's, he's not really a threat for more of, of him getting hurt. So, you know, he's, he's got it's a good learning fight for him. Yeah! Boom, boom. Shit, we're in round two. Schedule four threes. The middleweight division. Antonis weighed in today at 11 stone 2 and 9 ounces. Paul, 11 stone 1 and 6 ounces. Day before weigh in. Nice job from Antonis. They start a bit more positive. 
So I'd like to see a little bit more power. Just place that screw shot in there. Obviously, the target area. If you've got you know aspirations of going to the top in this game, you've got to show us what you've got. Show the crowd what you've got, and you've got to put it out there. And work hard. Get yourself fit on the job. You know, so we're working that body in the head, mixing it up. Yeah, just a, just a little fact there. Um, Antonis stepped up to six rounds uh, in the previous fight. Um, that's a fight he lost, obviously, so now he's dropped back down to four. Whether that's anything to do with it, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe he just feels comfortable doing the four till he kind of learns, you know, learns a little bit more, gets a little bit more experience, maybe. And again, certainly against all, you know, he can afford to step it up a little bit. Nice backhand through the middle there, right on all's chin. He never, he never capitalised on it. Yeah, Hall, Hall just a bit lazy there, he, he kind of plods and reaches with his shots. Slow really, so Antonis I think just needs to take advantage of that. Just placed his shots in. Nice two shot backhand there. I always called him on. Very economical, or doesn't move around much. Yeah, I mean, I mean he's calling him on, but what's he calling him on for? He's only going to get more of those shots. Bit of bravado. Yeah. Obviously, South holds a South Park, so can be a little bit awkward. He can make it look a little bit untidy. But I think Antonis is doing the right thing. He's staying at range. Using his long shots and his reach. I can't see with, with all his record how he how Antonis just thinks he's going to pose him a problem. So he needs to get in there, do his work, do more work and stay on top of him. That's better, stay in there and go again. Off the side. Yeah, I think you know. I think he can afford to throw back to shot until this. You know, he's throwing one single shots and one twos. He's not really putting two, threes and four together, which he could do anyway. Yeah, boom, boom, shittering round three. Yeah, so two comfortable rounds there for Antonis, really. Um, I think, you know, again, I think we're both the same opinion, Lee. We just like him to pick it up now. He's obviously had two rounds. He's had a little bit of a test, see what all he's got, which is not very much. He can afford to let his hands go, obviously I spoke too soon, but he's letting his hands go now, which is what we want to see. Yeah, exactly, he must have heard us in the, in, the, uh, in the break. But now he's laid off again. As I say, if you want to, if you want to make a statement in this game, you've got to prove a point here. You know, it'll be good to stop all. Obviously all the journeymen don't want to get stopped, he's out every week. Earning his little money coming here, standing still, not doing much, don't forget. It. It. Yeah, it's you know it's quite it's quite an easy night for all this really. I know he's taken a few shots, but again, Antonis is not doing anything that's too threatening, so I was quite happy to stand in the middle of the ring there and you know wave him on. Of course he is and, and, and get his money, you know, it ain't, it ain't his job to put it on the on the on the so-called inverted commas pros prospect. I mean, all doesn't throw the punches with any, with any power, any snap. And, um, yeah. He's three wins, he's got no stoppages. Made his debut in 2017, September. Pro six years. Yeah, well, I mean, when Anson has picked his shots there, he, you know, he steps it up a little bit. Arms all over the place, really. He balances off, he's, you know, his old composure's off. So I think Anson has just need to step on him and pick it up. And again, not, not many people stop at all. I think he's had six, been stopped six times out of, what did we say, Lee, about 108 fights? Oh, yeah, he's in 109 fights, he's been stopped, he, and he's under four defeats, he's been stopped six times. So, you know, it obviously says a little bit about him, but again, he's not really been any, in with any sort of big punches, so... People like Antonis, up and coming, need to start making statements with these, you know, these kids. Antonis only one stoppage in his four wins, so... We watched his last fight, was in Bolton, it's the John Cambridge, in July 2023. 
Fury this year. Nice shots there. You know, he's got he's got him there, so he should try, you know, he should really try and finish him there and back it off. If you notice as well, you know, he's just throwing his shot his shots are single shots. Even though he's thrown a lot of shots, he's throwing one, two, three, yeah. Just combinations, put the combinations together. And we're not moaning, guys. You know, he's obviously winning the fight. We're just trying to offer our humble advice. That's three rounds in the back for Antonis. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite comfortable, so I think we give him all three rounds. Was a boxing touch hand. Into the fourth and final round is four threes. Red corner, Antonis. Blue corner, Hall. Paul um, Antonis must be based in Preston. <coughs> you got Dave Fitzgerald in his corner, excuse me. Scott Fitzgerald's dad. Nice shots, but you know, we could be a little bit more harder than that. He doesn't capitalise on them, does he? You know, he's he, like you say, he's throwing good shots. But he could put the combinations together. I like to just see him a little bit more snap, twos and threes, nice and sharp. Nice. Nice shots there. Look That's like a lot better. It's better. Look, 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 power be hurting all day. Ah. Referee's Jeremy Kirk pass it. Obviously, he's got his eye on things, but it's, it's not really a concern, you know. But he's, um, he's obviously quite aware that Hall's taking a lot of shots. He's not hurt. Lovely, lovely right hand there. Hall's waving him on again. Obviously, sometimes that's a sign that the fight is there, or you know, he's feeling the effects of those shots. Bit of killology. Final section of the fight now. Antonis is that he needs to push it a little bit. He's clearly won the fight. Nice shots again there. It's head into body. Yeah, I think again because of the pace, I mean, you know, he can pick it up, he wants to pick it up. I think Antonis, by you know, the look, the look of him really, his stature and everything else, he's probably quite happy to get the four rounds in. It's a lovely screw down. shot there. Nice uppercut, yeah. Oh, that's off for the first time. Definitely hurting that time, give a deaf smile, like Stan Laurel there. He's calling him on. I, th I think he should um, step it up when he calls him on. He should set that as a sign as he's hurt. Step on him. Put a little bit more pressure on him. Some Better from Antonis. But again, Paul's a wily character and I'm sure he's going to see this through. It's a fight again next week. I think he's actually lined up anyway next week, yeah. Works again. A lot of these guys who go on the road, they can have... We can fight tonight, they've probably got two or three fights lined up anyway, but obviously all being well. We've got the last 10. Have you got it, Mike? 40 30 to Antonis. Yeah, it's a shutout there, I think. Four rounds to Antonis. Wait for the verdict off. Referee Jamie Kirkpatrick. Ladies and for all boxing info news and latest interviews amateur and pro across the north click and subscribe VIP boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.